Good evening, uh, YTPC. Dispop here coming at you from nice, very cool Monday evening in South Carolina. Monday still, yep, another 40 minutes. It's still Monday. And I don't, I don't know why the light keeps doing that weird thing. But anyway, uh, been a while since I did a video. And I'll be doing a Yabo today, or a box opening, package opening, Yabo, whatever, and a VR2 carving hyper. Um, first off, get the Meerschaum, Missouri Meerschaum that is. Because it's, it's good enough for me, um, Meerschaum Madness, because I this, this little bad boy right here that I got, do not like. I don't probably don't smoke anymore. And in this thing I got some Cornell and Deal Bayou Morning. And very good. And enjoy me some barrel bourbon. 122.4 proof. Mm -mm -mm. That's all I'm going to need for it tonight. Oh. Good news is, some good news, I found my pipe lighter. Mm. What's going on? Bad news. <clears throat> Can't go to the Raleigh Pipe Show, Tats Pipe Show. Things happen. Adulting happens, and I just can't go, unfortunately. Sad, yeah, but be ready for it next year. But which means I have a lot more time, a lot more money for tobacco. Anyway, let's go to the box of things. Um, I ordered this stuff on Blue Friday. Blue Friday. It is now Monday. Yeah, order Friday. This one right here is from tobaccopipes.com. Al, I'm sorry. Opening with my no name knife. It says buck on there, so a buck knife. Buck, baby. Buck. Okay, you can't. Lighting. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, folks. But, tobacco pipes. Hold on. <laughs> Never mind, I just got a comment. I thought it was in airplane mode, but I'm not. Alright, this order right here was a couple of restocks. A couple restocks and a bunch of new stuff. Well, maybe half and half. And a lightweight packer stuff. All right. First restock. Four ounces of Dunhill early morning pipe. God, this light is horrible. Just trust me, it says early morning pipe. There it is. Got two of them. Uh, another restock. Cornell and Dill Bourbon Blue. My, one of my faves. One of my faves. 2017. Uh, yeah. Here's a restock. I only ordered one by accident. That's a Magnum Opus. One of my other favorite Englishes, but I did make another purchase. And it's, coming, it's on the way. So I do have two, just one right here. Okay, that's done, that's, that's done with the restock or the seller building. New stuff Dunhill Durbar. Um, I'm a fan of Justin Taylor's videos, and he swears by this stuff. I'm excited to try it. Finish Syrian. Getting harder to get, but Kyle, why'd you only get one of them? It's hard to get. I don't know if I like it. If I don't like it. Sorry, the cat's going crazy, but I, I don't know if I don't like it. If I, I mean, if I ordered like two or three of these things, I don't like it. 
I'm going to give it away or sell it. No, I'm going to try it first. Try it first, see if I like it. Then I'll make a decision. And probably one of these, I'm, I'm, more, I'm most excited to try Cornell and Deal Exhausted Rooster. God bless this light. I apologize, it's dark out here. Trust me, it's Exhausted Rooster with Cornell and Deal. Uh, Mr. Bayou Guru and Carbon Piper. Love this stuff. And again, 2017. Well, I put the back of order. to try some of new stuff and here's my other box I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you show I didn't want to show you what it is yet never, never carve towards yourself box from your friend of mine, OMS Pipes. And he sent me a crap ton of stickers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, you may or may not know that I hang out on the house party with Old Berg and Justin Taylor and um, Dreadlock Piper. All Ovis, all Ovis fans, and I think Dreadlock said it one time. If you don't, if you don't have one yet, <clears throat> if you don't have an OMS, you will eventually. So I do have one eventually. I do have one now. But first, I love T-shirts. Got me a T-shirt. Mighty nice, mighty nice. Anyway, you want to get T-shirts or stickers? Here she is. Nice little uh, card from Mr. Salam himself and a bro note. I'll let you know what it is. It's telling me what I got right now. And an OMS patch. Look at that crap. That's nice. Thank you, sir. I'm right. Okay. Anyway, you ready? Come on, Mike. Oh, buddy. Look at that thing. Look at that. This is my Dublin. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Can't wait, can't wait. Anyway, now the bro note. Kyle, almost Dublin, the OG. Enjoy and stay spooky, brother. So long, OMS. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the extra goodies. This, this thing looks beautiful. I cannot wait to try it out. There's the old, God. Sorry, folks, this light's horrible. The old, there it is, laser engraving, and it's a sitter, I think. Yes, it is. Mm -mm -mm. Again, beautiful pipe. Love the shirt. Thanks for all the extra, the patches and extra stickers, man. Thank you. All right, now on to the VR for Mr. Jared. Carving Piper. Um, I met Jared once or twice on the house party. There you go. I met Jared once or twice on the house party. We share a lot in common. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, I do enjoy watching his videos. I nerd out. Again, I nerd out on pipe making and wood carving and stuff like that. So when he first asked for his goal is there's no number to it, there's no you know, 150 subs or 100 subs or whatever. He just says it's time to do a goal. And his, uh, uh, what was it, his uh, rules, regulations, or whatever were legal age, I'm good. And I got subscribe, I subscribe. And you have to whittle. Almost going on these lights, folks. And you have to whittle a tamper. Sorry. 
know I can't see the tamper. What the crap is going on here, folks? I apologize. First off, I was, as I was watching this video, I went to town on this. This right here used to be this. Same exact one. I started chopping and then I started chopping away and carving and paint or painting, sharpieing, a little bit burn marks on there. But it's an old cob. I just destroyed. Try to put some little designs on there. Eh, whatever. And I put a screw, I found I had a screw that fit perfectly down the shank. Plug of the hole. And I took this knife right here and rounded out the top, make it a little more uh, beveled. Is that the right word? I don't know, make it more concave, whatever. And took a hacksaw to the edge, make make this thing more square. Put some Sharpie on there and look a little too bright. So I burn it. Look at this. And it freaking works. Probably can't I can't do my mini cob. Oh you can very very little though. But it's worth this is my actually and I use this a lot actually. It's actually my uh my uh outside tamper. I leave it out here in my workshop, workbench, whatever. But that's my first tamper. Yes, there's more than one. But uh so and again I started watching his videos for more inspiration and watching his videos turned into watching more uh, carving videos from other people and so I went out and bought me a wood carving kit beginner wood carving kit with boss wood and like you know the knives the carving knives and sandstone or the whetstone and I made this little tamper I think it's pretty good but well, it's boss wood it works but what they fail to tell you is that boss wood <laughs> highly Flammable, or not flammable, it catches on fire very easily. As you can see, and if you keep tamping, 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 you're going to taste burnt wood. And then, kept going and going and made me, this was a wolf, then it turned to an eagle, now it's a pig. It's a pig damper. So there you go. Three tampers. I'm uh, not handy. I'm not artistic whatsoever, but he said he ain't gonna be pretty. So there you go. For my tampers, Mr. Jared, Mr. Carbon Piper. And I love watching. I love watching your work. I love watching you do what you do. I really appreciate your your instructional videos. It actually helped me out a little bit. A whole bit, actually. Well, anyway, I love you, YTPC. Swam, I'm gonna mess. Thank you very much. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Can't wait to try it out. Go follow me on the Instagram, Dizbike, Tricky Lego one. Come find me on House Party, Dizbike. Yeah. Y'all have a good one.